morning, wise women. We're here today with Nancy Mendezabel with Apple Valley Insurance in Rhode Island. And we're here to interview you because you're just a spectacular woman. And I've been blessed to know her for a number of years on the MetLife National Council. So um, first off, just tell us about your agency and the years of insurance that you've been in. So our agency is in Smithfield, Rhode Island, and we're a second generation um, independent agent. And we, I came into the industry in 1990. So I partnered with my dad, and we bought an agency together, a small agency. And then my father, brother, and I worked together for about 15 years, and then we uh, bought out my dad, and that was about 10 years ago. So I've got 25 plus years in the industry, and um, 12, 12 years as a sole owner or primary owner, and um, we do all types of personal insurance and small business insurance. So. Awesome. Thanks for sharing about me. So um, what do you feel that are the opportunities in insurance that women have today? So I feel that the industry is so um, has so many opportunities for women. Uh, most women prefer to buy from other women, so from a sales perspective, um, women that are in sales have a great opportunity. As a business owner, you have a great opportunity for, um, if you're bank certified or if you're a minority business establishment. And then just um, the industry lends itself very well to female leadership. So I think there's a lot of opportunity either at the sales level, the administrative level, or even in the, at the company side and, and you know, um, marketing, underwriting, that sort of thing. Definitely, I agree. Um, so, what advice would you give to yourself <laughs> if you could go back <laughs> like 20 years, 20 years ago <laughs> and, and really, you know, speak to, you know, women that are just starting their careers or in their early 20s and getting going? You know, it's hard to think back that far. <laughs> then, um, yeah. you know, I just kind of jumped in and I said, well, what have I got to lose if I don't like it? I, I, I went from, um, my background was in um, accounting, so I worked for a bank. And I was getting frustrated in the banking industry. Um, didn't, I didn't have a clear vision of my career opportunity and path. And I happened to talk to my dad one day and said, oh, no, you never get bored with a job. It seems so exciting. And I missed the client contact being on the banking mm -hmm. side. Um, I was in the corporate structure, and I missed that client contact having grown up in the insurance industry. So I realized, you know, come back to the agency side, and I think just move forward. You can always change. You can always go back to what you were doing. So I took a chance. I said, what's the worst that can happen? I wouldn't like it, and I go back to banking or go back to something else. So I think not being afraid to try something new or try something different. If you, you know, worst case is it doesn't work out, you gave it a good shot and try something else. And there's so much opportunity that I think it's it's worth it to take that plunge and really be confident and go forward and give it your best shot and it could be a huge success. Awesome advice. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the things we do is we have your best book club. Yes. So um, I'm asking this of every wise woman of the week, which is um, what is your favorite business book and, and why did you, like why did it speak to you? Well, my favorite one is probably good to great, and I think at that time when I read it, it was we were looking at um, reworking our agency and really getting the right people on the right bus in the right seat. I think that's and just to think that um, you know small businesses and big businesses have the same challenges. Um, but what I was going to say is one right now is I'm going back to the even because I think yeah. really having um, making yourself um, being able to replicate a process and process driven is really something that we're we're taking that next step in right now. That's interesting. I just actually went back to get a great with our agency because yeah. I'm like, I think I have the right people on the bus, but I don't have them in the right seats. So yeah. how do you get them there? Yeah. So, well, thanks so much for being our wise woman of the week. And like I said, I'm so blessed to have you as somebody that I consider a colleague and friend. So thanks, Nancy. Thank you. Thank you.